So in this lesson, we're going to explain the three stages of the cell cycle and how it's regulated. So, you know all about the structure of cells, but one of the most amazing things about cells is actually how they reproduce. New cells can only come from pre-existing cells, so it's a really crucial process to be able to understand. This lesson explains the typical cycle a eukaryotic cell moves through. As mentioned in my lesson on DNA replication, all the DNA in a cell must duplicate before the cell divides. This is so one copy of the DNA can go into each of the two daughter cells. The DNA is normally a bit of a jumbled mess called chromatin, so before the cell divides, this DNA needs to become much more organized and easier to move around the cell for division. So it is organized into structures called chromosomes. Now, to form a chromosome, the DNA molecule winds around proteins called histones to form nucleosomes. They then supercoil to form the dense chromosome structure. This replicates before the cell divides to make a double-stranded chromatid. When the chromosomes are fully condensed, they can then be stained and actually seen in a cell. In a typical human cell, there are 46, but each species has a different chromosome number. A carrier type is a photograph of all the chromosomes in a cell. Now, when a cell divides, it goes through the cell cycle. Depending on the type of cell and the organism, it can take anything from about 24 hours to a few years for the cycle to happen. And there are three main phases, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Now, actually, we can split interphase into three further phases, G1, S, and G2. So what happens each of these phases? Well, at G1 phase, the cell grows and develops, and normal cell processes occur, like protein synthesis and respiration. And the cell makes proteins uh, that it needs for cell division via that process of protein synthesis. And when it's doing respiration, it's gonna make lots of ATP, which it's gonna need later for the energy-intensive process of cell division that's about to occur. So it's getting ready uh, for this process of division, I suppose. The S phase is the next preparatory stage because in the S phase of interphase, all that genetic material is copied. This is when DNA replication happens. As I've said, we're gonna need to split equal amounts of DNA into both the daughter cells that are produced. And so we need to replicate the chromosomes at this point and they become double-stranded chromatids. Then we get the second uh, G phase, G2, in interphase, where the organelles duplicate. We're gonna need more organelles. If we're gonna split this cell into two, we're gonna need more of all the organelles. More cytoplasm as well is produced at this point, and the cell grows further, ready for division. And DNA is checked for errors. It's very clever, got its self-checking process to make sure there haven't been any errors when it's been copying itself, so that the daughter cells, again, don't uh, get a mutation. Now, different cyclins control when each stage of the cell cycle occurs. Cyclins bind to enzymes called cyclin-dependent kinases, and then these become active, this activates the enzyme, and they cause a phosphate group to attach to a protein, and these proteins then become active and carry out the tasks specific to one of the phases of the cell cycle. So by changing levels of cyclins and activating these enzymes and activating uh, proteins, it can then move through the different phases of the cell cycle as it needs to, okay? These four main cyclins, cyclin D, E, A, and B, will reach different thresholds um, depending on uh, which phase is happening uh, and which enzymes become activated. Now, the next phase of the cell cycle is called mitosis. Now, in interphase, the chromosome is replicated in the S part of interphase. So now they have to be organized and split equally into two sets for the two daughter cells. And that's what mitosis is really about, okay? Just like interphase, where we split it into, into smaller phases, mitosis can also be split into smaller phases. In this case, there's four of them, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, or often referred to as PMAT for short. In my next video, I will go through mitosis in real detail and also look at the final stage of the cell cycle, cytokinesis.